We're asked to find the value of each expression when x equals 5. To do this, we substitute 5 for x in each expression, and then simplify each expression using the order of operations. So the first expression is x squared plus 3. So if x equals 5, we would have 5 squared plus 3. And notice how here I included parentheses around the 5. This is to emphasize that we're substituting 5 for the variable x, and also, Sometimes parentheses are required, so if we always include them, we won't have to worry about when we need them and when we don't. In this example, if x was negative, the parentheses would be required to write the expression correctly and identify the base correctly. Now that we perform the substitution, we need to evaluate this expression. Following the order of operations, we simplify all expressions with exponents before we add and subtract. So for the next step, we simplify 5 squared, which equals 5 times 5, which equals 25. So this simplifies 25 plus 3, which equals 28. The next expression, we have the quantity x plus 3 squared, where the quantity x plus 3 raised to the second power. So if x equals 5, we'd have the quantity 5 plus 3 raised to the second power. Following the order of operations, step one, we simplify within the parentheses. So the first step is to find the sum. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. So this simplifies to 8 squared, which means we have two factors of 8. 8 times 8 is equal to 64. Our last expression is x squared plus 2x plus 3. So if x equals 5, we have 5 squared plus 2 times 5, plus 3. Following the order of operations, we can skip step 1 because there's nothing to simplify inside the parentheses. Step 2, we simplify expressions with exponents. So 5 squared, we know, is equal to 25. So this equals 25, plus 2 times 5, plus 3. Step 3, we multiply and divide from left to right. So now we find this product. 2 times 5 equals 10, 25 plus 10 plus 3. And of course, the last step is to find the sum. 25 plus 10 is 35 plus 3 equals 38. I hope you found this helpful.